ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन वाई इक्वल्स एम एक्स प्लस थ्री मीट्स वाई एक्सिस एट ई दैट इज जीरो कॉमा थ्री एंड द आर्क ऑफ द पैराबोला वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल सिक्सटीन एक्स एक्सिस बिटवीन जीरो एंड सिक्स एट द पॉइंट एफ एक्स नॉट वाई नॉट द टेंजेंट टू द पैराबोला एट एफ एक्स नॉट वाई नॉट इंटरसेक्ट द वाई एक्सिस एट जी जीरो कॉमा वाई वन द स्लोप एम ऑफ द लाइन एल इज चोज इन सच दैट द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल ई एफ जी हैज अ लोकल मैक्सिमम वी हैव टू मैच द लिस्ट वन एंड लिस्ट टू लिस्ट वन कंटेन्स एम मैक्सिमम एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल ई एफ जी वाई नॉट एंड वाई वन वाई लिस्ट टू हैज द वैल्यूज हाफ फोर टू वन देन द कोर्ट्स आर देयर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट बाई ड्रॉइंग द फिगर फर्स्ट पैराबोला ओके नाउ द लाइन वाई इक्वल्स एम एक्स प्लस थ्री मीट्स द वाई एक्सिस एट ई सो लाइन इज इंटरसेक्टिंग से हियर एट दिस पॉइंट इन दिस मैनर ई करेक्ट इट इज इंटरसेक्टिंग द पैराबोला एट द पॉइंट एफ नॉट Line L meets the y-axis at E and arc of the parabola at F that is x not y not. So this is the point F. The tangent at F meets the y-axis at another point. This is given to me as G zero comma y one. So this point is G zero comma y one. Correct. So this is the geometry part. Now. what they are saying they are saying the area of the triangle has a local maximum so i have to find the area of the triangle efg and have to maximize it correct this is 3 this is y1 so this length can be written as 3 minus y1 this point is x not y not so this is x not area of the triangle efg this can be simply written as Half three minus y one into x naught. If I can get the value of y one in terms of x naught alone, I will get the equation in terms of x naught. I will differentiate it in terms of x naught to get the point of maxima, the value of x naught. Correct. So let's try to find out y one in terms of x naught alone. Y one comes from the tangent. So write tangent at f for the parabola it is y y not is equal to since the parabola is 16x 8 times x plus x not when you put x equal 0 you get y1 as 8 x not upon y not x not y not is a point on the parabola y square equals 16x so y not can be replaced in terms of x not 8 x not upon 4 root x not. So simply it is 2 root x not. This is the value of y1. Substitute this value, we get area of the triangle as 1 by 2 3 x not minus y1 means 2 root x not 2 x not to the power 3 by 2. Differentiating with respect to x not, we get Half three minus three x not to the power half is equal to zero. That is, x not comes as one. The value of x not we obtain simply as one. So x not is one. So y not is four. Implies that y not is equal to four. When x not is one, we can get the value of y one as two root. X not that is two. Now we are in the position to start the matching from list one to list two. List one first they are asking for the value of m. Then they are asking for the maximum area of the triangle EFG. Then y not and then y one. Y not we have obtained as four. So R is matched with two. R is matched with two. Correct. Y one. Y one is two. So S is matched with three. 
S is matched with 3. We have got the correct answer as option A, but we still need the value of M and maximum area of triangle EFG in order to correct the complete question, correct maximum area and the value of M. Since the point x0 y0 is lying on this tangent as well as on this given line which is y equals mx plus 3, fine. So, x0 y0 will satisfy this equation substitute here y0 as 4 x0 as 1 to get the value of m as 1, y0 is 4 m x0 is 1 plus 3. So, m comes out as 1 we got the value of m as 1 that is option for p goes to 4 correct. Similarly, we can find the area of the triangle that will go as half. So, area of triangle E F G is half square unit correct that will give complete the question as q goes to 1. Let us go for the next question question number 60.